Talk to Abigail. Uh, what did I just give her? What did I give her? <laughs> I gave her something. Whatever. <laughs> I literally just gifted her something. And I, I really don't know what it was. Did I give her coal? No, I didn't give her coal. What the hell did I give Abigail? She liked it, whatever it was. I think I could look. I gave her her food right back. <laughs> she, she went, here you go. I got you some food. And I gave that right back to her she's probably confused that's all i can think of all right let me see this in action here so we got that 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 okay I, and then i think the iridium one is like uh six more spaces i think pretty good pretty good gonna help out a lot it's a mistake to play any mobile game on oh, god any fucking clash of clan people in here you need to stop clashing with clans and go clash with the grass outside clash with some bitches or something <laughs> yeah, that's a good one i'm gonna write that down somewhere Reuse that joke some point. Clash of claims to be clashing with people's bank accounts. I played, which one is the good one? Is it Royale? I played Clash Royale when I visited my dad because I was bored. Like I didn't have a laptop or anything or any consoles with me when I visited my dad one time. All I had was my phone. And then I downloaded, I had like a bunch of mobile games. I downloaded Clash Royale. I played that shit probably like four times. And I'm like, this shit kind of boring as fuck. <laughs> I would rather play with my balls because at least I get like more euphoria out of that. I think Mario Kart, is like one of the only games I have traded in in like the last couple of years. Because this is when I was still working at like Ross. I think yeah, it was still Ross. I was working at Ross and I didn't have money to buy Red Dead 2. Or I had the money, but you know. I was like, let me trade in a game. Because GameStop be having that stuff where you get like trade in value when you trade in a game. So you get like the money plus a little extra towards the next game. So I did that with Mario Kart because I'm like, I don't play fucking Mario Kart. The Mario Kart for Switch too. I was like, I don't play Mario Kart. I need to pay for fucking Switch Online to even play it online. So then I was like, let me trade this bitch in for Red Dead 2. <laughs> and then when Red Dead 2 came out, I had the credits for it. Pretty much just got it for trading in Mario Kart. But like, it's usually not worth it to even trade in it's better to just like resell it to someone when i was little i had like 400 skylanders and sold them all damn if anyone here in chat has the uh, spyro or crash bandicoot skylander send it my way i'll open a p.o box for you guys to send it to me where do i keep my hardwood at not for real where do i keep my hardwood i'm about to tell abigail that robin wants my hardwood you know what i should do i should go fuck around in the sewers <laughs> sewer arc i have the key I can go in the sewers. Stop fucking around in the sewers and start fucking around with some bitches. You can't say that to me anymore. My character's married. My virtual character has more bitches than you, IRL. You're not allowed to say it anymore. You gotta watch your words now. A couple arcs ago, maybe like an arc or two ago, you could have said that about Casimir, but not anymore. Yes, sir. The sewers. The sewer exploring arc. Oh, God. This is a mistake. Your hear sirens. Even the police know. Statue of Uncertainty. The statue can help you change professions. The fuck? What does that mean? Oh, it's my boy. You're in the sewers? A human visitor. This is most unusual. Was this not the same guy? I'm Krobus, merchant of rare and exotic goods. Sorry, I'm still a little wary of humans. My shop's still open to you, however. What you got? Void egg. Sign of the vessel. Monster fireplace. Pretty cool. <gasps> Star drop. Return scepter. God damn. Damn. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven figures? Two million? Oh, you have eight figures in this game? Casimir, I'm not at that arc yet. That's that's billionaire Casimir. So many arcs, this might as well be One Piece. One Piece actually doesn't even have that many arcs. One Piece is more of a... It's got a lot of episodes more than it really has arcs. Because they'd be signing like 100 episodes in arc. And then like 20 of those episodes will be about like somebody's grandma. <laughs> that was in the background if i don't catch like a mutated fish down here what in the hell <laughs> i'm just catching carps down here that's it wow, i guess the sewer arc really isn't that long huh bro i got a two pound bag of pistachios damn that boy got nuts in his mouth you paid 21 dollars for two pounds of pistachios and you spilt it on the floor 21 dollars you could have got a fucking five guys meal with that get the fuck off of my property it's not racially motivated just because he's a dark enemy. He's just on my fucking property. I'll do it to any race. <laughs> Get the fuck off my property. I shook a fat shit to the tune of Mr. Rossetti. But that must have been a good shit. Oh, I gotta turn that off because I do actually have to shit, bro. That shit almost made me just blast my pants. Rock up. Hello? <laughs> Bro, Marnie's just like fucking Clint. I'm gonna tell everyone her and the fucking mayors are fucking each other. What the hell? 
Every time I need something from Barney, she's not there. Why is this place even open if she's not there? Lock your door. She literally has her child just in there. Like, what if Casimir was on some weird shit? I could have ran in that bitch, kidnapped your child, and left. But luckily for you, Casimir is the coolest guy in town. He wouldn't do that. Bro, I hate when that happens. That has happened to me so many times recently. <laughs> So Chimera Ant Arc had me contemplating squishing ants. Want to be on their good side just in case. Nah, you were trying to get on their good side for one reason. You're trying to get on that good side to get good with though. What's what's her name? Pito. What like why? Why does she do this every time? <laughs> I typed in Marnie not at the counter in Stardew. And then the first post that comes up, Marnie's terrible at work. Yeah, why does she just walk away every time I come in here? She does this literally every time I walk in here. You're in the toilet for 48 minutes, bro. I don't think it's a good thing to be shitting for that long. <laughs> you said 48 minutes, that's a whole short film. <laughs> Marnie, fuck you. Work at your home. This bitch literally doesn't work. I bet she doesn't pay taxes because she's fucking the mayor. I might have to go fuck the mayor so I don't have to pay taxes, you know? I remember this one time uh, we were playing Ultimate Frisbee for uh, PE. We were in the championship game, the group I was in, and then I rolled my ankle literally right in front of my PE teacher. That motherfucker literally looked me in the eye, saw me roll my ankle, and then he didn't even come up to me and like ask me if I was okay or anything. I was straight up limping everywhere the rest of the day. Like legit, it was a good ankle roll too, like the one that made my shit swell up and everything. And my PE teacher literally, legit stared me in the eye, saw that I rolled my ankle and this motherfucker did not say a word to me <laughs> he did not say a single damn thing to me and he knows i rolled my ankle we made eye contact i was limping right in front of him barely able to move up i was telling all my teammates that i had on my team i was like bro i cannot move I just rolled my ankle, this shit hurts. <laughs> I got some evil stories. I can tell you guys some evil stories. I don't know if I can actually. <laughs> some of them are pretty evil. I told that one about like the ketchup on the slide. Or was it mayo? I don't remember. <laughs> That's pretty evil. But I got some more evil stories. I don't know if I could tell them. That one with the ketchup on the slide though, that one was <laughs> that one was pretty bad. Just a random like third grader second grader coming down the slide and just fucking blasted them with ketchup <laughs> the pure light that that fucking second grader third grader whatever grade they're in they were flabbergasted bro and i, I played it off so smoothly too i was like what happened because like there was like a fucking like one of the teachers that like watched the recess yard the kid didn't even know what happened and then i, I came walked up to the teacher i'm like what happened you guys need help you need like a towel or something a napkin <laughs> i've been playing shit off so smooth i remember like uh the group of friends i hung out with like early in high school we would always get in trouble in the hallway we hung out in and uh, i remember this one time like i knew we were about to get in trouble because i saw the security guard coming down the hallway so like i was sitting next to one of my friends and i was like I was like, yo, let's start moving to the right a little bit. So like we inched away from uh, my group of friends that were going to get in trouble because I was just sitting there chilling. I had no reason to get in trouble. But uh, I, I was like, I told my other friend, I'm like, slowly start inching that way. And then we inched away from it. So like the other group of my friends got in trouble, but not not the other group that I told to inch away. <laughs> we like slid down the bench a little bit so they wouldn't even notice us. Did I ever tell you guys about like the tomato war? I remember me and my friends, we would do this thing called a tomato war. Well, we only did it like twice ever. We're like, our, our school had like these little ass tomatoes <laughs> for lunch. Like they would serve them for lunch. Little baby tomatoes. So then I remember like me and my friends, we got together. We're like, let's have a tomato war. <laughs> we would get like handfuls of these little ass tomatoes and we'd throw them at each other. <laughs> classic time good times and then i remember one of my friends hit this one girl in the face with one of the tomatoes <laughs> and he was in trouble bruh like you can see a mark how hard he threw that tomato at that bitch he threw that tomato hard as hell oh look santa he threw that tomato hard as hell and then he was hiding i remember he was hiding bruh he hid in the bathroom because he knew the principal we knew the principal. We were the last group of sixth graders for that school because that school wasn't going to have sixth graders anymore. The sixth graders were just going to be a part of the middle school now. So, like, you know, our, our last group there, we were special. We knew, like, the principal and all the staff. And uh, the principal knew us, and he's like, I know you guys know <laughs> where he's at. And we're like, I don't know. 
maybe he's hiding somewhere i don't know but i remember we had like a field trip to this like camp or something and then i remember we had like the bad kids on the bus like the the real devils like i've done i've done some uh bad things but like we had the real devils you know the ones that are in like their own class and then i remember they were in the back of the bus with us like one of them this motherfucker took a big ass orange it was either an orange or a grapefruit that he had for lunch and he didn't eat it and he threw it out of the window of the bus while we were on the fucking Golden Gate Bridge. I was like, bruh, <laughs> you know how fucking dangerous that is? <laughs> These dudes throwing the whole ass oranges out of the fucking bus on the Golden Gate Bridge. I'm with some murderers, bruh. Real killers. <laughs> uh, I need to get a gift for Emily. <laughs> Topaz, Amethyst. Amethyst, Emily, I know you love Amethyst. Nah, I gotta bring her a good gift, because what if she's the one that gives me a gift, you know? Then I want a good gift back. Me and my friends have chocolate milk war. Shit was horrible. But I remember this one year, me and my friends had semen wars. That was probably one of the worst wars we had. This bitch is still mad she didn't win the ice fishing competition. Pam, hold this L. Hold this L, Pam. You know I destroyed you in that fishing competition. Oh, Marnie and the mayor next to each other, huh? This has to be the mayor's child, right? Has to be. I don't blame the mayor, bro. I saw the picture of young Marnie. I saw the picture of young Marnie, bro. I don't blame him. I'm trying to be like just like Lewis. I wonder if I could lick one of those canes. Oh, Abigail, I'll give you a cane you can lick later on. Don't you worry. I'll give Abigail a cane that she could lick later on. All these happy families, but for me, just another <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Clint. You said, ain't no way homie said semen wars and kept going to the conversation. <laughs> Y'all tell me you ain't play semen wars in school? Marnie's not 26, bruh. No way Marnie's 26. Stardew Valley Marnie age. Marnie is at least 40 it says what the fuck it says clint caroline robin willie marnie demetrius kent jody gus pierre and pam are at least 40 years old finally george linus lewis evelyn and the wizard are over 55 leia elliot shane harvey sandy and emily are approximately approximately 25 to 35 so that means if you want the older women in stardew leia and emily i chose one of the young ones not like in a weird way. It says Abigail, Haley, Sebastian, Penny, Maru, Alex, and Sam are between 19 and 24. Because I was guessing our character was like 18, 19. Our character is young. Or actually, we might be like 20. All right, let me give, uh, yeah, let me give Emily her gift. I got you oak resin. Oh, so it's you. Ah, Topaz, thank you. I just gave this bitch a rock. But she loves rocks. <laughs> it literally says she loves rocks. My boy Vincent is my secret Santa? Vincent, my guy. What'd you give me this year, bro? Um, excuse me. I have a gift for you. I found it last summer when I was playing at the beach. Oh, oh God. <laughs> this motherfucker gave me a seashell. Oh. Okay. That's actually not that bad. Because I do think I am missing some of the magma treasures. I'm glad you moved here, Farmer Casimir. You can just call me Casimir. You're not going to call me a farmer. Shout out that boy, Vincent. I'm assuming, like, if you see, this is why I need higher hearts. Because I bet if I had higher hearts, i get a better gift. Oh, well. There's always next year. Give Emily trash. She deserves nothing. Remember, she tried to kiss you when it was your wedding, a new married man. That's facts, but it's not like I like the kiss, all right? There was no intent to cheat. If you got to cheat, do it with Maru or Haley, not Emily. <laughs> what if I, oh, bro, what if I cheated with a guy? Now, that's really a twist right there she's gonna be like what <clears throat> this is my first stardew playthrough maybe like i said maybe we'll do like a whole new playthrough with mods and then we'll see like evil casimir it'll be like an alternate reality evil casimir loves emily hates abigail evil casimir loves pierre but yeah we'll install some mods the next stardew playthrough and then that's that's when shit will get crazy we'll have like the milf mod let me look up Stardew Valley mods. There's a Stardew Valley anime mod. It creates mods for love interests and villager portraits. We're going to have that. Let me look at this real quick. This is, who is this? This is Leia. Ro Robin. That's Abigail. Damn, Abigail, really a gamer girl. For real. Damn, that's Emily? What the fuck? That's an upgrade, bro. Hold up. What is this picture? Why they got the little kids, too? I don't know about that. Uh, this is Maru. Maru looking good. It's a fan-made expansion. This mod adds in 27 new NPCs, 50 locations, 260 character events, 23 fish, reimagined vanilla areas. Damn. This might be it right here, bro. Is there bad bitches? 
Damn. <laughs> I'm marrying Sophia in the next. <laughs> I'm marrying Marlon. Wait, Marlon's in the game, bro. Claire. Oh, this is the girl that works at Jojo Mart. <laughs> I always wondered who the fuck that girl was at Jojo Mart. I always thought it was like Leia or some shit. Secret characters. There's a new expanded. Oh, we're doing Jojo Mart, bruh. We're doing Jojo Mart when I do the next playthrough. Multiple spouses. Yes. Allows you to have multiple spouses. Damn, this is like the Kanye West video, bruh. This is hard, whoever made this shit. <laughs> this is like that Kanye West music video. <laughs> Look how many people they're getting married to, bruh.